It is always a sad time when I have to talk about consumers getting their products stolen from them. Now that we are headed into an all-digital future, it is happening more and more. But now we're finding out that PlayStation users are set to lose hundreds of TV shows they've paid for. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or via YouTube memberships. So I wanted to start with this Push Square article. It says, in a move that will rightfully have people questioning the advent of an all-digital future, Sony has confirmed that hundreds of Discovery TV shows will soon be completely removed from PlayStation platforms, even if you've purchased them through the PlayStation Store. Now, obviously a lot of products now are digital only, and we are headed into an all-digital future. It is definitely worrying for a lot of people for me personally as well. I try to purchase physical products whenever I can because I want to physically own something rather than have a company be able to take it away from me at the snap of a finger. But unfortunately, if you are an individual who has tried their best to get into digital products and maybe you have purchased a Discovery TV show or multiple from PlayStation platforms, now you will no longer have access to it. It says, as of December 31st, 2023, due to our content licensing arrangements with content providers, you will no longer be able to watch any of your previously purchased Discovery content, and the content will be completely removed from your video library. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, okay, how are they going? Going to remedy this, they're not. They do not care, and this is a major, major issue. I do not care if it is due to light content licensing arrangement issues or not. If I purchased a product, I either A, deserve to have access to it, or B, deserve a refund, because we are not talking about people renting this content or streaming this content. You bought it, and you expected to own it. This is actual theft. You paid for this item and they are refusing to give it back to you. Sure, it's all covered in a EULA and we all know the dangers of purchasing digitally, but we shouldn't have to worry about it be being stolen from, about it being taken from us. It is simply a shitty thing that should not be excused. Uh, they, of course, uh, do not care, though. You know, they only care that they've already gotten your money. They've already taken it from you. And yes, you might have had this content for a few years, but it does not matter if you have had it for a day, a week, a month, a year, multiple years. You still purchased it and you still should own it. It says it reads the rather sudden announcement. That same page includes a full list of the discovery shows that are being wiped. And it is a long one. We are talking about hundreds of people pieces of content here. It says it's unclear exactly why Sony's previous agreement with Discovery has been axed, although it's worth noting that the network merged with Warner Brothers last year. It's possible that a new deal will be struck down the line, but as of right now, PlayStation users are about to lose access to a trove of digital media that they have already paid for. And this is a very important thing to note, because yes, they did merge with Warner Brothers uh, last year, but it is important to point out that they've already got their own streaming services like Max plus Discovery Plus is its own service, so it's not that shocking that they'd want to push people to their own services. But at the same time, this should be illegal. It is terrible that you can lose hundreds of dollars of product at the drop of a dime. It's the same thing with digital games on Steam or GOG. If your account gets banned, that's it. Your inventory of games is gone forever, and they're not going to refund you, and that is a major issue here. If you are going to take content away from people, if you are going to rip what I own out of my library, you should be paying me. You should be refunding me. You should be giving me the option um, to maybe even purchase other content. Of course, you should be ultimately putting all of the money back in my bank account or back on my card, but they're not going to do that. None of these platforms do that. If I get banned on Steam today, that's it. That is the end of the line. If I get banned on something like that, um, they, they don't really care, and it is just an unfortunate 
uh, you know, side effect of an all digital future because it's not like you actually own this content or else they would not be able to just straight up take it away from you. It says, of course, though, this certainly isn't the first time that stuff has been removed from the PlayStation Store and people's purchase libraries, and you can bet it won't be the last. But this latest announcement is already sparking plenty of renewed debate over digital ownership rights, the necessity of things like physical media, and the underlying morals of piracy. I definitely think that, uh, you know, physical media is always the way to go. I still try to purchase physical media every chance that I can. I know that it is so easy and so convenient to just go and purchase something digitally, but at the same time, this is what could happen to you. You could get that content ripped away from you so easily. And a big discussion around this is piracy, and this is turning a lot of people that have been against piracy towards it. We all know that you can get all of this stuff off of Usenet and Torrent easily, so yes, Sony, any one of us that in the past would have said, oh, you can buy it off of a service, so you might as well, are gonna think twice, even if the price is very low. And of course, this has gone absolutely viral on social media, and I'm happy that it is because it makes more people aware of the dangers of purchasing digitally, that this could happen to anybody. People are also saying, uh, strangely, none of the money paid to Sony or Discovery will be removed from their accounts and returned to yours. This is very true. If you're going to take content, you should be refunding me. Uh, so nobody actually owned their purchase products. Nice, Sony. Even though this is not just Sony's fault, they're still to blame in this for sure. Damn, they should at least refund the money. You didn't purchase it if it can be taken down by a third party out there when, yeah, they use the word that, you know, purchase content or owned content. It's, it's not owned. It clearly isn't if you can just rip it away from me. Uh, currently hoarding all of the games from my childhood because I am not paying for them 10 times in my lifetime. I've already paid enough money to platforms like Nintendo and PlayStation. I love how they say, we uh, sincerely thank you for your continued support. It's not like this is an option, right? It's not like I could just say, no, you can't actually take it away from me. You are forcing me to just bend the knee and say, yep, you know what? You can take my content. It's all right. We sincerely thank you for your continued support. Well, clearly people are not continuing to support you, judging by all of the backlash that they have now faced on social media. At the end of the day, like I said, this should be illegal, and there are a lot of great conversations now happening uh, about, you know, the necessity of things like physical media, and it's it's renewed the debate over digital ownership rights. Of course, they are not going to change their minds on this after all of the backlash that they face. It's not like we are going to magically get all of that content back in people's libraries, but it's always good to have a conversation about things like this. It is why I cover situations like this, but it is unfortunate, and if you are a user who has purchased Discovery TV content previously uh, on PlayStation, you are going to get it ripped away from you. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and, of course, found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And, of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.